Bellator MMA live on Paramount Network from the Windstar World Casino and Resort. We started the night with another young phenom, 19-year-old Norbert Noveni Jr. taking on Will the Thrill Levine. Nice suplex bringing him down. Look at that up kick. These are the little moments. You see the spinning elbow. Norbert Novigny is the future. Look at where he's getting here. Beautiful arm triangle. Keeps the pressure on. Gets the tap. That is 2-0 in Bellator. This is a fighter we're going to be seeing in the future for a while. Next up, Anatoly Tokov coming off his win over Alexander Shlomenko against the veteran Gerald Harris. And Tokov got clipped early. What a beautiful setup by Gerald Harris. Shows like he's going for a knee pick. Hits him with the left hand, hurts him, but is unable to finish him. Can't get the stoppage. And then he gets caught in the second round, gets put into a guillotine choke, and that guillotine choke ends up into a 10 finger. The hips come in, a lot of pressure. Nice tap out and a beautiful come from behind victory for Anatoly Tokov. His younger brother, Vladimir, won his debut earlier, and then it was time for their teammate, Valentin Moldovsky against Linton Vassell. Vassell making his heavyweight debut inside the Bellator cage. Yeah, Vassell coming in, showing what he can do as a heavyweight, getting that first round, but then he got caught in this arm triangle, but muscled his way out, which just shows the strength and toughness of Linton Vassell, but it was the pace of Moldovsky. That's what got Moldovsky the win, a very impressive victory for Valentin. Team Fedor 3-0 and oh on the night. Then the rematch in our main event, Georgie Karhanian and El Matador Emmanuel Sanchez. Georgie Karhanian came out in this fight with a different game plan than he had in his first fight. And he was being successful. He took that first round by bringing the fight to the ground. But Emmanuel Sanchez said, oh, you want to fight on the ground? Great, let's do that. And he ended up getting good positions, opened up, trying to do what he could to put big shots on Georgie Karhanian and basically just out position him for the last two rounds. Bigger shots, that's what got Emmanuel Sanchez another decision victory over Georgie Karhanian. His 10th Bellator win. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com and the Bellator app. This is a fight for the fans, and we'll come out swinging. Wow! Next Friday, two of Bellator's toughest lightweights face off. Oh my! When Syed Awad takes on Brandon Gertz. Plus, former two-time world champion Daniel Strauss makes his heroic return to the cage. Bellator MMA, live next Friday at 9 on the new Paramount Network.